Hello friends, today we're going to talk about abstraction. What is the abstraction? Abstraction focuses on hiding the implementation to the user, letting user know to focus on what object does rather than how it functions. So the main purpose of abstraction is hiding the implementation for the user. Next thing is there's no instantiation in abstraction. Okay. Abstractions are meant to be extended or implemented by the different classes. To make abstraction happen, it has to be either abstract classes or interfaces. Okay. Let's talk about abstract class. What is the abstract class? Abstract class abstract class is the class that contains at least a one abstract method. It is not required, however, to have abstract method inside the abstract class. You can still have all concrete methods inside the abstract class, but that's not considered that you would really need abstract classes for, right? So if you have at least one abstract method, then system will tell you that you make that class to abstract so you'll have to change it a compiler will force you to make that class to abstract class how we make the abstract class abstract class is defined by the keyword abstract so if you have an abstract method you would say abstract void then method name similarly if you have abstract class you would write abstract class and then class name okay and what's next so abstract classes cannot be instantiated. They are meant to be extended or inherited into the different classes. And I'll tell you the purpose of this. So if you have an abstract class means these abstract, uh, if you have any abstract class that contains any abstract method, right? If you have any abstract method means this method does not have any body. So all it is is just the declaration. It is not defined. So somebody has to come up to override these methods to define what is this trying to do, right? So that can only happen when you go outside of this class and somebody needs to call this class, extend this class features. That time, that's the main purpose of that um, abstract class that cannot be instantiated. So what you do is abstract class, you have to extend it, you cannot instantiate and make an object and pull um, the methods inside so that this compiler will not allow you to do that. Okay, so what's next? Abstract class implements the interface If that happens then interface will not force this abstract class to implement the methods that interface contains make sense Which means you have abstract class that already has an abstract methods and you are implementing interface on top of that, which also has a abstract methods, right? And you are trying to uh, implement that, but then there's no point of ha forcing abstract classes to implement where that itself does not have a concrete methods, right? So let's go next one. So you have a two abstract class per se, and one abstract class is extending the another abstract class also similarly like the interface when one abstract class is extending another abstract class this time also compiler won't force you to override the abstract methods that parent class had okay abstract methods can be public protected you cannot have private for abstract methods like i said you are supposed to override them outside of this class so that's why you cannot have them private um, what's next concrete methods in abstract class can have private methods yes so you can have a concrete methods inside the abstract class that can be private but these are only to be used inside that one class and this has to be defined it cannot be abstract okay uh, let's show you some of this uh, sketch I have we have a fashion class which is abstract. It contains a void price. This is an abstract method. It also has a concrete method called designer's info. Okay. I have another class that has a producer that is also abstract. 
abstract class producer also contains the discounted price as abstract method and you also see fashion is implementing the interface so here at the point where the producer is producer already implemented all of those features producer already inherited the features that fashion as well as interface changes has okay so now until now the producer is not forced to implement or override these abstract methods above okay because producer is self abstract so producer is then being extended by a class called product details okay and this time since product details is not abstract this has to implement every abstract method producer fashion as well as the changes has except the designers info because that is already been defined rest of the all abstract methods has to be overwritten by a class called product details okay so let's do some of the quick exercise on this to help you understand better so here I have a class called um, let's get one second set this so let's create one package here so new I do package so package I'm calling it abstraction okay so I'm going to create some classes here so this class is called a fraction okay this class is not abstract so let me create one method here public void price right so here here you can see the difference so if you want to make this as an abstract inside the abstract class you cannot have it like this you have to have it like this so this means it's a concrete but what we want we don't want that to be happened we want this to be abstract right so what do we do to make this abstract I add word abstract okay so if I add this abstract if I add this abstract I will ha also have to make this class as abstract okay so what happens here this class uh, fashion which is abstract contains the method price which is abstract so now let's also make one another method which is not abstract which is a concrete method okay public void uh, designer info right so this is a concrete method right so I have one concrete method that has the curly braces which means it has a body I have another method that is abstract which has nothing so let's go ahead and create another class which I want to be uh, also abstract so this will be producer so all I'm doing here is I'm going to create public abstract void um, producer what do you call producer info and since this is abstract I have to write abstract here okay so this is happy now now I want what I want to do is I want to extend feature of fashion which is also the abstract class so since fashion is the abstract class it does not force me to implement all of those abstract methods what I want to do now I want to also show you creating the interface that we talked about so interfaces I'm going to name it as it changes okay here I am going to create a couple abstract method public void uh, color changes okay I have another method public void price changes okay so here these are uh, if you see the difference in the interface you don't have to define keyword abstract because they are abstract by nature so what I want to do now is 
I want to get this implemented here at the top level class, which is a parent class of a class producer. Okay. So since that is the interface, I'm going to do with the keyword implements this. And also, as you can see, even after I implemented the interface inside the abstract class, it still did not force me to act, uh, override those abstract methods. Similarly here, producer is extending fashion. Fashion has the feature of changes implementation, also not forcing, so it cannot, it is not doing anything, right? So it does not have to override. However, if it wants to override, they can, okay? So let's go with here, let's create one another class called product details. So this is a non-abstract class. So I'm going to do this as um, producer, the child class. So I want to implement this unimplemented methods. Okay, so you see the difference. And one thing, if you did notice, this uh, the method that is the designer's info. Okay, the method that is designer's info, which is already be defined, that is not here because that has been defined. Only the abstract method will come here. So I, however, want to run that. So I'll just call this in here. So let's add some of these print messages. Okay, so change price. So producer is channel, channel, whatever. So price is um, something like that. So I think we're pretty much done here. And one more thing, let's if you see here. These override annotations are there. Override means it is just for your information that it is overriding those methods which are defined somewhere else. Okay, so let's uh, add this uh, main method here public static void main string args. And here, if I need to run this method, I don't have to go through parent. All I do is just whatever class I'm in, it is capable of doing all that. Now, let me run this out p dot p dot price change p dot recall next uh, price, right? So product producer info something like that so if I run this out you'll see this whole thing is there and here if you see this override annotations even if you remove this it will still work just fine okay you don't have to but those are for information purpose it will still work the same way it doesn't vary so let's go with the top level now. Uh, I have, uh, what I did is I created a class which is an abstract class called producer. This is extending a fashion, um, no, wait, uh, from here. I have an abstract class called fashion. Fashion is ex implementing the changes interface. Changes interface contains couple abstract method. And when I am implement the interface, and I am already the abstract class, then I'm not entitled to implement those unimplemented methods that changes had, which means abstract class can implement the interface, but is not entitled to override the interfaces methods because it's abstract. Okay. And, and next thing about is abstract class can have abstract as well as concrete. 
methods okay and next things abstract class cannot have a private access modifier okay because these are meant to be overwritten somewhere so they can however have public and private uh, public and protected um, and you can have a private methods inside the concrete method but that is only accessible within that one single class fashion um, next thing is you can have 100% concrete method inside the abstract class um, but you don't have to um, uh, you know but that doesn't make sense you have abstract class without having abstract method okay next thing let's go we have another class called producer producer is also abstract and I have one method here called producer info producer is extending a fashion fashion is the one parent class okay which has implemented the changes interface which means producers class has already retrieved the information from fashion as well as changes next thing I want to um, next thing I want to mention is when abstract class extends the abstract class then same thing happens so it is not entitled to implement um, abstract methods so I have a product details the final class I have this class does not have abstract keyword which means this is not the abstract class it is extending the abstract class called producer producer is the class which has all of the features from fashion as well as changes so this time class product details is entitled to implement all methods which are abstract and has to override them right and I can see this here all and only one thing different is this if there's any um, method that has been defined those are not needed to be pulled in so which means uh, designers in for has already been defined inside the fashion right so it is a concrete method so concrete method is not forced to be changes or override uh, but rest of every abstract method including abstract classes methods or abstract method inside the interface right they all need to be overwritten here I think that pretty much explains let me run this out one more quick and here it is and thank you I hope uh, this pretty much explains uh, most of the uh, concerns about the abstract class and uh, please uh, continue to watch my videos and I will continue to post new stuff I hope this explains and this lesson has been very helpful for you thank you very much and please continue to subscribe my channel thank you